Greetings, unsettled souls. This is Sam I.B. to Angie doing a political commentary for the Media Speaks. You might know me from Wits News and Blasting News or Media Speaks. Do me a favor, friends. Make sure you do keep an eye on Ever Love and Wits News. I have an article coming up. I have a couple up. And uh, they've been talking. Uh, the newest one going up is going to be talking about phasing as it relates to uh, COVID-19. And I think that's important because there's a lot of people that aren't understanding this. And I have found it's it's rather funny that I'm a Trump supporter who is warning fellow Trump supporters that exposing yourself just all out, you know, jumping into mosh pits and beauty parlors, which we'll get to in a minute, is a decidedly bad idea. And history has shown us this. The, the Russian the Russian outbreak, the Spanish flu, this has been shown to us before. We, we know where this goes. If you look at what St. Louis did during the Spanish flu, and then you look at what Philadelphia did to the, during the Spanish flu, it doesn't exactly take a rocket scientist and a great brain to figure out that the best thing to do is what St. Louis did. Now, that tends to put me in this particular scenario on the side of many Democrats who are saying that Trump is in favor of just opening everything up. That's not what he said. As a matter of fact, he said he wants to do it in phases so that we're able to tell where we are and when we are there so that we can more easily fix the problem if a problem should arise. And again, we don't know what this um, what this virus is going to do in the fall. And that's important because we keep hearing over and over again how this is expected to die down in the fall, but we don't know what it's going to do. No one knows how this is going to mutate in the fall. No one knows if it's going to come back worse. So look at my article coming up on Wits News about phases. I also want to give a shout out to those who donate. Thank you. By the way, this is listener supported. And uh, during the outbreak, things have been horrible for your humble host. So thank you very much to uh, Trisha White and Mike McLaughlin, who both donated to the show. You can do what they did at uh, the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal. And if you donate any amount, I'll do what I'm about to do now, which is remind you to donate to Clean Oceans and to St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Why? Because they do great things cleaning up the ocean, because they do great things helping children who are cancer, would otherwise not be with us any longer, maybe the best charity ever. And it is the favorite charity of uh, Trish and Mike. You might remember Mike McLaughlin. He was a uh, show sponsor back in the day, um, an author, someone you should look up on Facebook. All right, friends. I've babbled enough. I've let people tune in. I'm only doing two, two segments on the Dunce Cap of the Month. Why? Did you hear that? That's the sound of nothing, which is pretty much what I heard for the massive Fukushima update. It is normally a an army of people that come to the site for the massive Fukushima update. And that was not the case due to COVID-19 and everything going on. So I'm not yet crazy enough to talk into the camera for absolutely no one whatsoever. So until I find out how many people are tuning in until this outbreak blows over, I don't know that the shows are going to be as long. Do you want longer segments? Are you enjoying the show? If so, make sure you correspond. Make sure you let me know. Uh, the two stories I wanted to get to, though, definitely stand out. Um, if I There's so many people that I couldn't afford to send enough dunce caps to this. But can I ask you just how stupid you would have to be to believe that Donald Trump said to inject disinfectants into your body? How? How do people get this stupid? Now, those who have listened to my show on a regular basis aren't that stupid because they know about the massive Fukushima update. They know that in some instances, for some illnesses, O3 gas is put into the bloodstream as a disinfectant. Disinfectant. 
Not ammonia. Not bleach. Not awesome. Nope. O3 gas. And, you know, I don't know to what degree it would work with the coronavirus, but it's not a bad suggestion. And you might say, okay, Sam, but that's, 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 um, some niche thing that he probably never heard of. Maybe you've heard of it, Sam, because of the massive Fukushima update. You're the nuclear king, but other people don't know that. Okay. However, it's not the only one. Right here, i got a photograph in front of me uh, with a lady who has, well, I guess it's a lady, who has an IV in. And uh, the meme says, for all of you dummies that have absolutely no idea what he's talking about, UV light is injected into the body. Oh. Donald Trump said to inject light into the body. Ha <laughs> ha, he's stupid. UV light is injected into the body as a disinfectant to kill bacteria and viruses. And this has been used for a while now. Just because it's called disinfectant doesn't mean it's pine salt. You're all really showing your asses today, the meme says. My point is, what kind of mental Midget, what kind of an idiot would you have to be to believe that Donald Trump was telling you to go ahead and inject disinfectant into your body? If I knew, I would send you the dunce cap of the month award, but I can't do it because there's too many of you, I guess, probably Democrats who believe such a thing. So that leads me to go right into what you are waiting for, the dunce cap of the month winner. Let me remind you again, if you want to donate, you can do so at the correct views of Hotmail.com through PayPal. All right, guys, the don't cap of the month here. This one was pretty easy. I think uh, some people may have even uh, perhaps guessed what it was going to be here. How can anybody be so stupid? I, I ask myself this all the time, but then I find out, much to my dismay and sorrow, that people continue to get stupider and stupider. Um, 12WRDW.com. Here's how Trump feels about Georgia easing its COVID-19 restrictions. Yes, the Dunce Cap of the Month award winner is Brian Kemp. The reason he's the Dunce Cap of the Month award winner, friends, is he's not able to tell that phasing back into society does not mean getting tattoos. You see this tattoo here? I could not have gotten this really cool keyboard tattoo, which I got from uh, Wizard Inc. They colored it, Lewisville, Ohio. I could not have gotten this done by practicing social distancing. If I ever decide to get my hair cut, which I don't see happening, I can't do that. Social distancing. The idea that we need to open the country up is not mutually exclusive to the fact that we need to practice social distancing. There are some areas that simply will not be able to open up. It is possible that we'll open up and have to close the country up again. Hopefully not, but it could be. But this is what Brian Kemp has done here. And you'll see why. He's the Dunce Cap of the Month award winner. I'll show you the award. I'll show you the hat. I'm really unhappy with the hats lately because I don't have the poster board. I wanted to pick it up today, and then the store had already closed, and I, I made another one out of paper. That's two I have out of paper. I won't be doing that again. Next month, it will be back to the regular because I don't like these. These are ugly. I've got three hats I have to mail because none of the print shops are open, so it's been a nightmare. But I will get them mailed. Three months behind now. President Donald Trump said he disagreed strongly with the decision by Georgia's Republican governor to reopen salons, gyms, and other non-essential businesses, saying that it had been shuttered to contain the coronavirus, saying it's too soon. Yeah, it's too soon. Phase one, after you meet grading criteria. Keep in mind, like, gating criteria. After you have proven that you are not a risk to the entire damn country, you move into phase one, which does not include sweaty gyms. <sighs> yeah, let's, let's bring that out. Yeah, that's a good idea. Salons. Yeah, that's a good idea. Cut my hair. Yeah, brilliant. 
This has to be the dumbest person who has ever lived. This can't, I mean, my God. The president indicated that while he is in favor of states reopening their economies, Governor Brian Kemp is moving a little too fast. A little? Kemp announced earlier this week that as of Friday, elective medical procedures could resume in Georgia, and that barber shops, nail salons, and gyms could reopen with restrictions. What restrictions? How do you keep somebody six feet away when they're getting their nails did? What kind of idiots? Limited in-restaurant dining is scheduled to resume on Monday. Okay, now he's mixing some of the things that Trump had said was, you know, a way to test the water here with all-out moronica that he's dishing out here with this idea of tattoo shops and gyms. The virus moves faster than government does, said Dr. Jennifer Nuzzo, an epidemiologist at Johns Hopkins Center for Health Security. So if I had to bet on who would come out of the gate faster, it would be the virus. And of course, you know, Trump said, I want him to do what I think, what he thinks is right, but I think opening spas and beauty salons and tattoo parlors and barber shops in phase one is just too soon. He thinks, yeah, it definitely is too, and this is the kind of stupidity that you run into. And I, nobody has been more in favor of the Trumpster allowing states to do this with the federal government at the helm, the way the Constitution has suggested. But when you have an idiot like this, I, it's, yeah. in pushing his plans to jumpstart the state's economy, Kemp stressed that the state was ramping up its virus testing. Who cares? What good is it going to do to test more people when you're only going to have more infected people because of the ridiculous way that you opened it up? So, friends, here's the dunce cap. This is my least favorite dunce cap I've ever made. But, you know, it's nice. It fits on the head well. Um, I'll point a dunce cap at you again. So, phase one opens everything. There's my little confused guy. Let me go on Facebook to make sure you guys can see it. Um, my uh, Mohawk dude here. Dude, can I get a new tattoo and be social distanced? <laughs> and then, of course, they all have one of these common sense. No common sense. This is being mailed, dunce, to the dunce, Brian Kemp, along with the award. Now, again, I don't have a printer, so if you want to see the award, I'm going to zip the camera around for the high def. For those of you on Facebook and the Media Speaks, I will post it in the comment line of uh, the videos, at least on Facebook. If I forget on Media Speaks, you can uh, look it up on the correct views on Facebook. All right, friends, here is the award that is being sent to our idiot, uh, Brian Kemp. The notes cap of the month. America is just emerging from the worst outbreak in over 100 years. And the president has rightfully allowed each state to open with common sense social distancing suggestions and via phases which limit the risk of infection, I wrote. For failing to understand that such suggestions would not include nail salons, gyms, tattoo parlors, barbershops, and dine-in eating, you, Governor Brian Kemp, win the Dunce Cap of the Month Award. And I'm going to have to fix a typo on this, but that's easy to do. I'm going to go ahead and ah, send this out. That is what he's going to be sent right there. Friends, if you are interested in donating to the show, make sure you uh, do so at the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal. If you want a longer show, hey, why'd you get so short, Sam? I don't know. Where were you during the Dunce Cap, uh, the, during the Fukushima show? I, I don't know who's listening. I don't know how many times it gets shared. I get this, some idea on my own page, but I don't know for sure. So make sure you let me know what you think of the show. And uh, again, good night, friends. God bless. Thanks a lot for listening. I don't post as much as I did. It was a different show when Christelle was here, and I think it worked better that way than it does with just one person. So I don't do as many. But if you like what I do and you want to see more of them, make sure... You let me know, and I'll start churning out more videos and longer videos. Good night, friends. God bless, and thanks for listening.